Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Malt. So happy to be here with you guys today. Let's just do this, okay? We're just doing this. We're jumping right into it. Look at this. Special offer. Get it. What's it going to be? Please be one that I don't have. Please. Nice. Okay, I'm, I'm down with that because if I can get my miner leveled up, whew, that's going to be dope. But today, guys, I've got something embarrassing to tell you, okay? And it's this. Oh, ugh. So, somebody beat me with it. Actually, a lot of people beat us with it. They beat us with it, okay? Because it's very, very strong. We all know that it's overpowered. I'm sure that it's going to get a nerf. And so I was like, all right, what's all the hype about, okay? Was I using it seriously or even enjoying it? No, I honestly wasn't enjoying it. The whole time I thought that I was going to throw up. <laughs> because as you guys know, like, um, this is my type of deck or this is my type of deck with just fast things and get to the tower, blah, blah, blah. These slow type just big push decks are, um, for me personally, just not something that I enjoy, but something that you may notice, it got me to my highest trophy record, okay? Now, am I going to continue playing it after this video? No, I am not. The sole reason that I'm doing this is to show you guys, and I know that a lot of you guys can already say, oh, we know, we know that it's strong, okay? We know that it's strong, but I wanted to show it to you guys from a firsthand experience of me using it as someone who doesn't use it a lot. Like a lot of these guys, if we go up here to the leaderboard, let, let, let's just guess. Let's just see what he's got. Okay, yeah, so the, the top guy in the world right now uh, is using that deck, okay? And they've been using it for a while, and that's how you know, like you get really skilled with a deck, you're good with it, you can beat a lot of stuff because you know how to counter things. For me, just picking up this deck, like I just picked it up, um, it, it was in my hands, I just picked it up, <laughs> I just picked it up, and I was able to get to 4797 with it, like, just bad, um, but, yeah, so it, it needs to be nerfed, we all know that, but it's not going to for a while, probably, so, um, people are still gonna use it, and we're just gonna go over kind of the gameplay, okay, so I'm gonna show this to you guys first, okay, this is when I made the deck, all right, so I just made the deck, when? Win, 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 win. That's all. That's all. <laughs> Literally made the deck and just absolutely crushed. Just absolutely crushed with it. Um, let's just go. Let's wa let's watch this one right up here, okay? Because this is another deck that a lot of people don't like with the bowler and the mega minion. So there, there's there's differences in these two decks to where some people are like, nah, the bowler mega minion one is better, um, and then other people are like, no, the prince one is better. In my opinion, the prince one is better, guys, because for ten elixir, you can have if you drop off your giant in the back. Okay, and then you drop off your prince. By the time the giant gets to the tower and starts doing work, uh, look at this. this. This is hilarious to me. But that Mega Minion is doing some good work. So is the uh, the Musketeer. Now the Musketeer is taking damage, as is the Mega Minion and the tower, etc., etc. Um, oh wait, he doesn't have a giant. He's got a hog in his. Nice. Um, so good. He's switching it up. It's 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 a hog poison. Blah blah blah. Whatever. Um, so the his Musketeer in the back. Honestly, I probably should have dropped off my Musketeer in the back to shoot hers and then to shoot the hog from the back because that musketeer honestly probably did the majority of that damage right there. Um, so this was the last this was the last match that I played with this deck. Um, the bowler is super strong. Uh, I feel like when he hits them, it is probably be a tile or like half a tile uh, less because he just does, he really just throws things out of the gameplay. I don't think that it should be that much, if any, but sometimes it, it, it appears to be a little bit uh, gnarly how far back he can push people. So, um, as you can see, this guy's in the lead right now because I'm still just like, I'm trying to figure out, okay, how does this deck work? I don't have a pump down. I'm not doing any of that. Um, I haven't pumped. And one of the biggest things with this deck is pumping, uh, or at least from the way that I've noticed, it, it most definitely is pumping. His hog's about to get absolutely wrecked right here um, by this prince. And then look at this. We're going to come in. The musketeer's going to do some work right here. We got our guards in there, guys. We got everything going down, and now we're about to poison it all. Um, I think that I meant, yeah, so I missed the musketeer, but that was just really so that I could get the giant there. Um, musketeer's going to do some work right here, uh, and now the prince is on the tower, and that's done. Like, look at that. That's just, it's, it's just like, what? Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's pretty dirty. So, um, I don't know why I defended that, honestly. Um, but because I did defend it, check what out. Or ch check what out. Check this out. We're going to go ahead and we're going to push because he just pumped. 
So he just threw his pump down. We're gonna go ahead and uh, and get some uh, get some madness going. You can see he just dropped off his tombstone. It immediately died. So giants over here. Prince is over here. We got another prince down. Um, and the princes are just they're just doing work. They're shutting everything down. The fact that there are two princes on this is ridiculous. He's trying to go for that other tower. And we're just going to take it down. Three crown right there against somebody at 48-16, I think. Um, someone who has used the deck a lot. Uh, I can imagine. If he's up there that high, you can tell that they've used it a lot. With me, I've used it one, two, three, four, five times. And then before that, I was using some other stuff. So I've used it five times. Used it five times. I don't like it. Because I'm the type of person that likes to um, go against the popular stuff. I like to not like follow what everyone else is doing. And if you do like to to follow, that's fine. Um, I just I, I just personally don't. So I'm gonna show you all one more replay, and then I guess we'll go live and try and win one and break 4800, which would be gnarly. So we're gonna watch the first one, guys. Here, right right down at the bottom. Um, Exact same deck that I'm rolling with. Me versus this dude. I'm sure that this wasn't his first time playing the deck. So we're going to see how we do against Painless. He's going to go ahead and say good luck. Um, and we're just going to see what happens. Uh, again, this just like is, it, it isn't my play style. It's, it's kind of slow. Um, I just don't, I normally don't like pumping unless it's like a psycho deck because then you're just like, what? How did he already get back to his hog rider? What's going on? Um, so he's going to pump right there. I do not have a pump available. He's going to go ahead and say, wow, he's only got six elixir. And uh, <laughs> that's why you don't pump like that. <laughs> oh, gosh. That was, <laughs> that was so funny. Um, so that just caught him off guard. And look at this. We're just we're going straight for it. We're literally going straight for this tower. Um, I, sh I probably shouldn't have done that. Um, because I should have known that he was going to counter. But look at this. The prince is still on this. He's going to charge up here. Oh, bam. Take that out. And uh, his tower is going to go down very, very far. Very, very low. He ignored the guards over on the left side. When you go ahead and freeze him right here. He's just spamming wow because that was a wow moment for sure. I zapped because I didn't want my musketeer to die. Um... That was without a doubt a wow moment. Like, that shows you how strong that is. It, I, I can't think of another deck where if you just mess up, like, a little bit like that, that it just complete. you're just done. You're just done. Like, all he did was put a pump down, and I, I got to his tower. <laughs> um, so we're going to have to try and figure out something here. Obviously, not the best of scenarios. He's going to say wow again. I'm not too sure why he's saying wow so much, but... Um, we know we're going to take a lot of damage here. That's fine. We're just going to let it happen. Um, go ahead and drop off the Ice Spirit as well. And it's going to stop that pretty good. Um, Giant's going to go down right there. Uh, Musketeer, did y'all see that? She walked in there. She visibly got affected by the poison spell. You could see her kind of turn that orange hue. And then uh, she didn't die. He's going to say wow again because it is a ridiculous deck. I understand this. I understand this situation very much so. Um... I'm going to go ahead and do that, and uh, we'll drop off guards, and uh, that's going to be GG. That's game over. That's game over right there, guys. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I, I, don't even, I don't even know. I don't even know. Let's jump into a live one. If I lose with it, hey, that shows that I'm still learning it, or it just shows that I suck. <laughs> All right, so battle right here. Let's see if we can play this perfectly. I've never played a match this high before. 46, 76, you're gonna give me someone 100 lower than me who's probably using the same. I have the wrong deck selected. Oh my gosh, I don't even really like this deck that much. Guys, no. All right, that's all right. We're gonna try and win this. Goblin Barrel, get there. Arrows. Nice, the Goblin Barrel actually did get there. Look at that. Nice. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, so we know what he's using. Um, only thing that I'm not really a fan of right now. Let's do, I'm going to split on the, okay, all right. That'll be a lot of fun for us, huh? Um, yeah, so he's going to arrow that. Let's go ahead and, uh, and uh, freeze these guys. I literally do not know what to do. Um, but we're gonna try and get after this, okay? So we'll go ahead and throw our goblin barrel over here. Let's see what we can make happen. I do not. I should have dropped off my thing. What am I doing? He's gonna have to fireball that. I'm okay with that. Get there, Prince. Get there before the barb spawn. Nice, Prince. Take that out. Yes, sir. 
Yes! Oh, wow, okay, so that's fun. But what did he just do? He did just use his uh, fireball. He's probably going to drop off his miner right here. Um, nice, guys, he just used his fireball, and now he can't do anything. Let's get our ice spirit over here. Uh, what's going to happen? Oh, my gosh, yes, ice spirit, take them all out. Go, go, go. And I'm going to go prince as well, and we're going to get there, and we're going to take out this tower. What's he going to do? I don't know, but Goblin Barrel is coming in as well. Miner's going to go there. He's going to have to do something. He didn't have time to fireball. We're going to take that tower down, baby, yes, with a deck that we weren't even planning on playing with. <laughs> and now we're going to build up. Oh, my gosh, yes. What is going on? This is madness. You guys did not, you didn't, you didn't sign up for this. I'm just going to drop this down. I know that might seem dumb. I feel like this guy has probably already given up at this point, honestly. Um, let's go ahead. Let, I'm going to, I'm going to push this left side again, guys. Um, and he just used that rocket. Let's go ahead and just do this. And we are going to do this as well. And boom, boom, boom. Look at that. So much damage done. And that tower is taking a bunch of damage, guys. He just left the match. <laughs> he just left the match. <laughs> what is happening? We broke 4,800. We broke 4,800, guys. Yes. 4,816. And we didn't even use the giant poison deck in the video. I'm not going back to it. I'm not. Ugh. I'm, I'm washing I'm washing my hands clean of it guys. Okay, that's gonna be the episode. I'm washing my hands clean We're not you guys didn't see it the live gameplay of the giant poison because I'm not gonna show you Because it's it's dirty. I'm washing my hands of it <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed that was a sick battle. Here's that deck in case you guys want to see it um, I faced somebody with this uh, the other day, and I was like, that seems like a fun deck. Let's go ahead and use it. Um, it's 4.1 Elixir. Pretty gnarly, but you can see it just did work. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below, and I'll see y'all in the next episode. All right, peace.